Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Paris and I'm Heidi Alaga. Jurors have been hearing the murder case against Christopher Clements and the defense will his attorneys will offer uh, Clements is on trial for the kidnapping and murder of 13 year old Maribel Gonzalez. He's set for a trial in February in the death of six year old Isabel Sellis. Craig Smith joins us live. He was in court for opening statements. Craig, what can you tell us? Well, you know, prosecutors say they cannot bring the jury a witness who saw Maribel Gonzalez get into Christopher Clements car and go away to her death. But they say they can bring other witnesses and they t and offer a stronger case. Opening statements were delayed by a clothing issue. Clements has the right to be in ordinary clothes before a jury. Jail uniforms are regarded as possibly prejudicing jurors, but the clothes his attorneys provided did not fit, so the judge had to work out other clothes before the jury was brought in. In opening statements, prosecutor Tracy Miller described how the body of a 13-year-old girl was found in a remote part of Avra Valley. There was no trace of clothing. It took several days to identify her as Maribel Gonzalez. Miller says Clements' now former girlfriend will say on the night the girl disappeared. Clements left his house after an argument, was gone all night, and when he returned, he took a shower and cleaned things with bleach. The prosecutor says cell phone traces put Clements' phone near where the girl was found, and that hidden files on his phone showed photos of girls as young as three in lingerie. Miller says in connection with a different case, Clements led investigators near where Maribel Gonzalez's body was found years before. She says DNA on the victim was not a perfect match for Clements, but was enough of a match that he could not be excluded as the source. Now, in his opening comments, Clements attorney Joseph DiRoberto said the DNA match is so imprecise it could apply to every one in every 8,600 men. And he said the cell phone tracing was also so imprecise it could have caught Clements' phone as he drove down I-10, not where the body was found. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.